Welcome to Microchem's experiments. Subscribe the channel to enrich your laboratory skills. In this video, we are going to test an oil sample for the determination of peroxide value. The test involves four steps chemical preparation, sample preparation, titration, and calculation. To do this test, we need a balance machine, burette with stand, measuring cylinder, Erlenmeyer flask, spatula, filler, pipette, test tube, rack, filter paper, funnel, beaker, and hot plate. Among the chemicals, we need acetic acid, chloroform, sodium thiosulfate, starch, and potassium iodide. Let's start the analysis. Chemical preparation is very crucial for any test. Before going for the main test, we will prepare chemicals and reagents. For the preparation of acetic acid and chloroform mixture, first label a reagent bottle. Acetic acid and chloroform should be mixed in ratio of 3 is to 2. Measure 90 ml of concentrated acetic acid and take it in the pre-labeled reagent bottle. Now, measure 60 ml chloroform and pour into the same reagent bottle. Shake the bottle to mix the chemicals. Now, we are going to prepare 1% starch solution. Measure 50 ml of distilled water and take it in a 100 ml beaker. Place the beaker on a hot plate and heat the water to boil. Take the weight of 0.5 gram of starch soluble and transfer it into the boiling water. Stir the solution with a cleaned glass rod while boiling to dissolve the starch in water. Clean and transparent solution indicates that the starch is dissolved in water completely. After dissolving the starch, filter the solution immediately using a filter paper. Collect the filtrate and use it in the test as 1% starch indicator. For the preparation of 0.1 normal sodium thiosulfate, add 0.25 gram sodium thiosulfate in 80 ml distilled water and heat to dissolve the sodium thiosulfate crystal. Cool the solution and add enough distilled water to make the final volume of 100 ml. Standardize the solution before use. Take 2 ml of distilled water in a pre-labeled glass test tube. Add potassium iodide crystal by a spatula and shake to dissolve the potassium iodide in water. Continue adding potassium iodide until the sediment of the potassium iodide is left in the bottom of the test tube. Now we have to prepare our sample. Take 10 to 12 grams of oil sample in an Erlenmeyer flask. Note the sample weight. Measure 30 ml acetic acid chloroform mixture and pour into the Erlenmeyer flask containing the oil sample. Shake and rotate the flask to mix the sample with the chemical mixture. Now, add 1 ml saturated potassium iodide in the same flask. Shake and rotate the flask clockwise and anticlockwise for 1 minute to make a homogeneous mixture. Now, add 30 
ml distilled water into the flask and shake the flask again for one minute. Take 0.01 normal sodium thiosulfate in a burette. Take the initial burette reading. Start titration after adding 0.5 ml of 1% starch solution. Titration should be carried out with vigorous agitation of the flask to gain the accurate results. Stop the titration when the solution color is changed into white. Note the final burette reading. Now, we will calculate the peroxide value of our sample. At first, we will put the values in the right side of the board. Sample weight WS is 11.7356 grams. Normality of sodium thiosulfate is 0.01. We can find the volume of 0.01 normal sodium thiosulfate by subtracting the final burette reading from the initial reading, which is 4.8 ml. Let's put all of the values in the equation given in the left side of the board. By solving the equation, we get the acid value of our sample is 4.09 milliequivalent per kilogram. 